Chelsea, three wins from three, 23 goals between them before today. And it's Tony Gover in the commentary box. St. James's Park was made for Saturday afternoons like this. Newcastle top of the Premier League after four straight wins, entertaining an equally unbeaten Chelsea. And this new stadium, a cauldron of good old-fashioned football fervour. It's broken nicely to Watson. Rule Fox made space for the left foot shot. And Dimitri Karin has to save in the first few moments. Crowd appealing for something that the players didn't. Beresford. And Venison switching the point of attack to Watson out on the other side, who is faced by. Kielberg, and that's carried through to Karin, who will be very happy to have it safely clasped to his chest. But the 26-year-old Russian international who played twice in the World Cup in the United States, forced to be really on his toes. I'm helping it on. Just hooked in, and Cole wasn't offside. On the left foot. Oh, super! Just eight minutes to open his account against Chelsea. And what a guilt-edged strike. The ball dropping over the defence, Cole on side. And it was right into that top corner. Drifting away from Jakob Kielberg. Look how well he struck it. It's only gone to Sinclair. Dennis Wise, Sinclair, two to look for in the middle, one of them Spencer, Peacock's on it, here's Furlong, oh he's made space and he's closed it, the door looked as if it had opened, but by the time the shot came in the defender had got in front of him, Spencer gets it across, Wise, it's in, Peacock, Gavin Peacock scores against his old club, and the scores are level, and Hooper in today in place of the suspended Czech international, Pavel Czernicek. Watson. Cole. The defender was climbing all over the back of Andy Cole and the referee has pointed at the penalty spot. It looked as though Cole's attempt to jump to meet the cross was impeded by the defender. I think it was Steve Clark. And it's a penalty which Robert Lee will take. And the crowd don't like to see Dennis Wise having a word with him. Lee from the penalty spot. Karin saves it. But who's on to the rebound? It's the quickest man on the field, Rule Fox. Karin did his bit. Nothing wrong with the penalty save, but when the ball came out, the first man to it was Rule Fox. And maybe Chelsea have only themselves to blame for that. He was three yards ahead of the first defender. Well, it was a good run forward by Peacock. He caught the defence, he wasn't offside. Forced it by Hooper, who just stood his ground. Rocastle's in there, and in the end, it's just gone wide. Quite good enough. Oh, Spencer headed it on with the back of his head. Furlong arrives. Super header. And Chelsea are level again. We've not had half an hour. And it's two apiece. And Chelsea have twice stunned St. James's Park with an equaliser. Maybe a little fortunate then because the ball which hits John Spencer on the back of the head set him free. And look how well Paul Furlong places that. Hooper got his fingers to it. Tries to go outside Watson, gets it through to Spencer. Peacock! Chelsea could have been ahead, maybe they should have been ahead. Down the line by Scott Sellers. And that has stayed in play. Now Beresford to pick out a target. Watson arrives off the top of the bar. And the ground. Sellers have offered him a target. 
Beresford goes on the overlap and gets it. Fox, Lee, 3-2 Newcastle. Newcastle watered the pitch heavily before the match because, as Terry McDermott admitted, they like to play the ball on the floor and to see it pinging along. And that's the way that goal came. Short, sharp passes on the floor. And in the end, a simple side foot for Robert Lee. Spackman. Wise. Anywhere other than right at Hooper. And Chelsea would have equalised for a third time. That's fallen nice for Andy Cole. Watson peels off. Lee down the middle. Here's Lee. Still Lee. Cole! He doesn't even miss half chances, does he? You can't take your eyes off Andy Cole for a second. A smile that stretches from ear to ear. Lee got it back to him. And as the defender came in and Karin came off his line, Cole slammed it past the pair of them. Maybe a little fortunate that Jonsson's touch didn't carry the ball away, but Cole buried it. Sellers. Here's Albert. That's intended for Watson. Still Watson. Still Watson. Left foot. Inches in it. But from Newcastle's point of view, the wrong side of the post. Well, Newcastle put five past Southampton at home. They put four past Coventry. It's already four against Chelsea. That might have been five. They've beaten offside this time. Here's Cole. He's on for the hat-trick. It will be his seventh for Newcastle. Well, it would have been. Chelsea had a long look at the linesman, but the flag never looked like going up. Here's Gavin Peacock, forced to turn back. Spencer, oh, what a good strike by Spencer. And it's been that sort of afternoon. A chance at one end, and almost immediately, a chance at the other. And Cole has not had a better chance than this all afternoon.